Well, this is what it's all about. Um, you know, you build a piece of test equipment uh, for your garage, whatever, for whatever it is, you know, you, you build something and, and, you, and you do it right. You make a nice little piece that you know is going to be useful in the future. And so I made this amplifier and put it in a nice little box and everything. So um, comes to comes to the time where we actually get to use it. So I have uh, the spectrum analyzer looking at a uh, at an antenna. So I have got my little disco antenna, and uh, we're displaying a uh, displaying a sweep here. Uh, let's see, can we zoom in any further? No. So uh, this is a uh, one to. 1.8 gigahertz, maybe that's a bit too far, so there's not really much up there. So stop frequency, we'll stop at a gigahertz, and that's most of the stuff. Uh, we can capture the uh, uh, FM stations here in the middle, and um, those, aren't, those aren't FM stations, are they? What are those? Uh, those are around... Um, 580 megahertz, so that must be a, uh, t the HD television station or something. Not quite sure. There's a nice big thing here. Uh, that's at 505. Maybe that's a television station. Maybe these are uh, police and fire and stuff like that. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, looks like there's a lot of activity up here around 800. Uh, and there's something else here at around 700. Not quite sure what that is. But you can see they're all pretty low in, in amplitude. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and hook up our hook up our amplifier. So we'll take our antenna, we'll put it on the input, and uh, we'll take the output, put that back in the spectrum analyzer, and let's turn it on. So, poof, uh, everything got much bigger. So this is really nice having a having a low noise amplifier um, can really can really help do do things like this. Uh, we can we can zoom in here. Don't want to get in front of the camera. We can zoom in here. We'll turn on marker. We'll do a delta marker, and uh, we'll come over here, and then we'll do marker to span. So what I did was I placed two markers, and I said go ahead and span to that. So we can see all the activity here. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, let's see here. There's something up here around. I uh, can't read it. Something around 860. So there's something here around 750. And then there's a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's see if we can't um, let's see if we can't zoom into that. Uh, marker to span. There we go. So lots of stuff in there. And that stuff. Uh, that stuff goes from about um, 503 to, to 603. So that's interesting. All kinds of stuff in there. Anyway, just wanted to show off the, uh, uh, the use of a, uh, an LNA with your uh, spectrum analyzer. Uh, it's nice to be able to pull things out. Now I've got a, a two different uh, amplifiers in this box. I've got one that's uh, 20 dB. I used to have a 60 dB in there, and I think I blew it up, or it was just oscillating or something. I didn't like it, so I took out the um, uh, I took out the 60 and I put it in a, in a 20 that I think has, has, a, has lower noise performance than the other one too. And then the bottom one here is a 30 dB. So uh, let's see here. Can we see it all? On there we go. So I'm going to take the uh, and I've got a 50 ohm load on it, just so it doesn't want to oscillate or something. I'm going to move down here to the uh, to the 30 dB, let's see how it performs. And put that one back up here. And so it's it's doing a good job too. So even a little bit bigger now, right? 30, 30 dB instead of 20 dB. So there you go. Uh, we'll zoom all the way out again. Um, yeah, all kinds of stuff everywhere. So I, I encourage having some type of uh, amplifier on the bench. It comes in handy once in a while. Um, another thing that I find it handy for is um, sending signals to my counter. 
It's my frequency counter. So the frequency counter is not all that sensitive. Uh, it needs a pretty healthy signal to operate on. So a lot of times it's nice to have a bench amplifier to amplify it up enough to get it over uh, so that the, um, that the counter can actually trigger on it.